How strong is a supernova? Supernovas occur every 50 years in the Milky Way galaxy, making them a rare and difficult thing to measure. And it's even more difficult for us to visualize exactly how much energy they release upon detonation. So let's try. We can start by working up from the simplest measure of energy there is, the joule. Joules are how we quantify the energy produced by any particular action. For instance, a slap delivers about 37 joules of energy. Cooking a chicken requires about 500,000. A one megaton hydrogen bomb releases a whopping four quadrillion joules of energy in under a second. And on top of this, a type 1 civilization, which theoretically maximizes the entire energy supply of its host planet, produces around 864,000 quadrillion joules of energy each day, enough to power 1,000 Tokyos. But a supernova crushes even that output by a factor of 10 billion billion. In fact, I think we're missing a couple zeros at the end of that number. In pure math terms, the garden variety supernova releases something on the order of 100 trillion quadrillion quadrillion joules, roughly translatable to tearing apart two entire Saturns into pure raw energy. So here's a measure of what that looks like. Channeling all the energy from a supernova into the particle reactors here on Earth could produce 7,000 Mount Everest's worth of antimatter, a substance that, to date, we've only produced 10 nanograms of. And channeling the energy from even the weakest supernova into a space shuttle could take it up to 99.99% the speed of light, with plenty of energy to spare. But there's a catch to all this. 99% of all the energy from a supernova can't be conventionally harvested and used. Instead, it's released in the form of neutrinos, tiny near indetectable particles traveling at almost light speed. Neutrinos are produced in the core of a star during fusion, which is when two hydrogen atoms merge into helium. This happens as a consequence of the complex reaction that fuses the two high energy hydrogen atoms together, releasing a neutrino to keep the process stable. During a supernova, this fusion basically happens all over the star at once, as gravity crushes it down, releasing so many neutrinos that it tears the star apart. And these newly free neutrinos incinerate anything and everything in their path, with a blast radius of up to 50 light years. What's even crazier though, is that the light from a supernova would take longer to reach us than the actual neutrinos would, meaning by the time we'd learn of a supernova explosion, we'd already be dead. Hiding in an underground bunker couldn't protect you, because the neutrinos would easily breach the walls, no matter how deep you dug. You could even physically move the earth behind a neutron star, and the neutrinos would just burn right through. Literally the only way to escape a nearby supernova would be to tear the fabric of space-time itself. In short, supernovas are inescapable time bombs and nothing will protect you. So just count your blessings that we don't have to worry about one detonating near us for at least another 100,000 years, give or take.